Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today we are going to uh, talk about mean and variance of a set of numbers. And I'll share my computer screen with you. Says the mean of five observations is four and the variance is 5.2. If three of these observations are one, two, and six, what are the other two observations? So we can write, uh, we can write one plus two plus six plus x plus y divided by uh, five is equal to four. Uh, from the definition of mean. From the definition of mean. Okay. So 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 plus x plus y divided by 5 is equal to 4. Multiply by 5 on both on both sides. We get this 5 and this 5 cancels. So 9 plus x plus y equal to 5 times 4 is 20. Then subtract 9 on both sides. x plus y is equal to 11. Okay. So this is one equation we have. x plus y is equal to. Now from the definition of variance. From the definition of variance. Of variance. We have 1 minus uh, 1 minus the mean, which is 4 square plus 2 minus 4 square plus 6 minus 4 square plus x minus 4 square plus y minus 4 square whole thing is divided by the sample's uh, population size. We'll assume these numbers are population is divided by 5 is equal to 5.2. Now we multiply by 5 on both sides. We will get, uh, so first of all, we will multiply by 5 on both sides and then simplify. So 5 on both sides, if we do, 5 in the denominator on the left hand side will cancel and 5 multiplied with 5.2 on the right hand side, 5 times 5.2 is 26. So 1 minus 4 is minus 3 square plus minus 2 square plus 2 square and plus x minus 4 square plus y minus 4 square is equal to 5. 26. 5 times 5.2 is 26. Now minus 3 square minus 3 times minus 3 is positive 9. Minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4 and 2 square itself is 4 plus x minus 4. We will break it up. It is x square minus 8x plus 16. And for y minus 4 we will write 11 minus x minus 4 square is equal to 26 because from this equation y is equal to 11 minus x okay so 9 plus 4 plus 4 is 17 plus x square minus 8x plus 16 plus 11 minus 4 is 7 minus x square is equal to 26 okay now 17 plus 16 16, this 17 and this 16 added together is 33 plus x square minus 8x plus this thing broken apart 7 minus x times 7 minus x is 49 minus 14x plus x square is equal to 26. Now 49 plus 33, 49 is 49 plus this 33 is 82 okay plus this x square with this x square is 2x square and this minus 8x times my, uh, minus minus 8x minus 14x is minus 22x is equal to 26 okay so 
if I move this little bit on the top, so I have, uh, what do I have? I will subtract 26 on both sides. So 82 minus 26 is, uh, 82 minus 26 is 56. So 2x squared minus 22x plus 56 is equal to 0. Now we take out the common factor 2 x squared minus 11x plus uh, 28 is equal to 0. Okay, if I move this a little bit up, the 2, zero, we divide by 2 on both sides to get to get uh, x squared minus 11x plus 28 is equal to 0. Now we can write this as x squared minus uh, 4x minus 7x plus 28 is equal to 0. So if I take the first two and the next two, first two x is common factor, x minus 4, and then I take a minus 7 out is x minus 4, and that is equal to 0. So from the 2, I can take x minus 4 as a common factor multiplied by x minus 7 is equal to 0. So now, if I move up a little bit, so either x minus 4 is 0, which leads to <coughs> x is equal to 4, <coughs> or x minus 7 is equal to 0, which leads to x, here x is equal to 4, here x is equal to 7. So we know y is equal to 11 minus x. So when x is 4, y is 11 minus 4 is 7. And when x is uh, 7, y is equal to 11 minus 7 is equal to 4. So the if I summarize this by moving up, so the two missing numbers, missing numbers are 4 and 7. Okay, this is your answer. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.